here. The dogs are coming to help look for some pawpaws and some spice bush. Walking right next to a creek. So, hey puppies, look I got that trail of dogs following. Now here's a pawpaw tree that uh, had some pawpaws. Oh, there's some. Check it out. So those, a cluster of three pawpaws just hanging right there. And then there's a couple more big ones right over there. I'm going to grab those. It doesn't get much better than this, guys. Look at this. Sitting next to a creek. Dogs are drinking a bunch of water. It's <laughs> my buddies. My buddies farm dogs. Picking pawpaws and spice bush, you know? some more. I should have brought my sandals. I could have got right down in the creek, which I was doing last time. No way to get those good. No good way to get those. break any branches either. And I got two nice clusters. And rather than keep these in my backpack while I do some more, I'm gonna set these right here along this trail and grab them on the way back. I'll plant a spot that I'll see them. There we go. So yeah. Just put them right here along the trail on my way out. But there were some massive pawpaws that just can't stop thinking about over here. They were huge. Now look at this. There's a bunch of little ones on this tree that ripen really late. You can see, look at this. Put you right up here next to the pawpaws. Hanging on a tree. I'm trying to do this. I see a couple bigger ones way up top. Those weren't the ones that I noticed the other day. And these are big trees, guys. These here, these trees are close to 30 feet tall going up there. When they grow in the woods, the pawpaw trees are really, really tall and skinny. And um, when they grow out in the open, like out in here, they bush out more. I have seen more fruit on trees that are planted out in the open than ones that are long creeks, you know, the natural, natural spot for them.
You shut up and keep going. <laughs> You're killing time, man. This is valuable uh, foraging time right here. Come on. You know better than that. Here we go. Here's some good spice bush. See the bush right here? Got it all over it. There are some pretty big pawpaws. Look at that. I scratched up a bunch of these, especially this one right here. This one's another big one. Got a little... I guess I should have shook the tree would have been better. So now I gotta really, I gotta use these today. These all right here are all pawpaws. Look how tall that is. That's 40 feet up there. All of this. And now it just smells like rotten pawpaws over here. You can smell it. But let's go underneath here. And I'll show you even this big one right here leaning across the creek. These big these are all pawpaw trees, guys. The fruit usually is way up there. And uh, here's another pawpaw tree. And as you can see, this is a creek right here. The water's flowing. You can hear it. And here are spice bush. You've got understory underneath there. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to just kind of show you guys all the pawpaws literally on the ground right here. All of this. Nasty stuff right here. Pawpaw, paw, paw, rotten pawpaws, two rotten pawpaws, and newer one. Um, it's just, yeah, I mean, I'm stepping in it all right now. So these trees are just absolutely loaded. Um, but when it comes to spice bush, I want to talk about this a little bit. I don't always pick everything. I always leave a little bit. And uh, that, the reason why is because you want to you wanna save some for the animals. Um, as much as you want to get as much as you can, you're better off moving along to another bush 
and uh, getting more. Ooh, and I just noticed. Ooh, there's a really good one back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get. I didn't even see that. Um, but what I do is I plant these guys. Um, when I'm picking them all, and like, let's say like this, all of a sudden one slips out of my hand, right? Well, they're all over the ground. I just step on them, and I push them into the ground as I'm harvesting. So every so often I'll look down and see if there's a bunch of little red berries on the ground like there is right here. You can see that berry right there. And I'll just push it in. I'll push it in with my shoes. Um, the pawpaws also too. Uh, the best way to plant pawpaws is just take all these rotten ones and smush them down. Look at all the fruit coming out of there. Just smush them down into the ground. That's how you plant them. The soil here is so wet and so loose and uh, you just, you want to plant them. You want to, that's what the squirrels do guys. This is some squirrel wisdom right here. Ooh. Check this out guys. I need to start heading back though. It's been a good uh, good day. Got a good bit of spice bush. Some pawpaws that were still on the tree, even though I messed up a couple. And uh, these mesh bags work really great if you're able to pick up a mesh backpack uh, when they're on for, on sale. Like even right now, everyone's kind of went back to school, so places that have backpacks or back to school stuff. We'll usually clearance this stuff before Christmas. And uh, I got this one here. I think it was only like 10 bucks or something. The only problem is when you get a lot of pawpaws, the ones on the bottom will start to uh, get mushy because all the weight. Just today in pawpaws, I probably got maybe. Oh, about five, six pounds here. Not to mention the, I don't know, maybe three, four pounds here and a couple more pounds over there. Let's go get those. Another pawpaw tree, so my pawpaws should be coming up here on the ground, I think. There they are.
nice breeze coming through here. Ooh, look, there's a honeybee. Couple of them. Someone's got some bees over here. I wonder if there's actually a colony in that old barn. Yeah, I'm seeing a ton of honeybees over here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.